We are joined now by someone who knew the late Princess of Wales very well, Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, joining us now from Cheshire. Paul, thank you. Lovely Christmas tree, by the way. Uh, you. <laughs> assuming you have watched some of this latest series, what do you make of it? I'm, I've watched most of it, actually, and I'm finding it distasteful, upsetting, cruel and an inaccurate um, portrayal of both the Queen and Princess Diana. I knew these two people very well. I worked with them for over 21 years. And what, what you see on screen is not what I saw in real life. So beware, viewers. Do not believe everything that you see because it is very inaccurate. The Queen was a very kind, warm, very generous woman, good, kind Christian lady. And Diana, of course, well, you all know, um, she, she was a wonderful lady. Not once in The Crown did I see Diana's good works. Not once did I see her landmines campaign or her fight against HIV and AIDS and homelessness. I didn't see any of that. So what we're in danger of here is altering history and rewriting history because many people watching The Crown under 40, maybe, will think that this is true. And I'm here to tell you, it is not true. And it's not fair, actually, that uh, the princess should be betrayed, betrayed, betrayed by Netflix. For instance, Diana never wanted to bring down the royal family. There's a scene which is completely wrong of her joining into a national debate on television, voting to bring down the monarchy. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, Diana was very proud to be a member of the royal family and very proud that her sons were members of the royal family and she wanted to support the queen. She said, I want to hug Mama. I want to be there for her. I understand what it's like. I want the monarchy to survive. She told me all these things. So why then would she want to bring down the institution, which is the monarchy, of which one day her son would be king? And we do actually have a spread uh, within the sun. We're just looking at that among our papers at the moment tomorrow from you saying my fury over Diana lies on the crown, describing a little bit about what you've just spoken to us about and hearing you say it in your own words, of course, having worked so closely with Diana, with the royal family. Uh, it's coming across almost like a public safety announcement, like the type of disclaimer that people have asked for to be shown on Netflix before people watch these episodes. However, people will watch from the age of under 40 to over 40. People are going to be watch this, watching this. And it's a case of timing, Paul, isn't it? Because the Queen, the late yes, Queen, yes. only recently passed away. Is there a, a set amount of time, a decent amount of time to wait before doing something like this? Well, personally, I think that Netflix should have closed the doors on The Crown after series four, because we're now entering recent memory, our memories of the royal family, and it's decent to wait a good deal of time. And the Queen has just passed, for goodness sakes. Now we're raking over her life and her personal life and the personal life of Prince Philip as well. And I don't think that's decent. I think that, you know, Netflix should think about this very carefully and cancel series six because you know it, we don't really want to see all of this on our screens william and harry will be very upset um, by this series and watching her mother's portray their mother's portrayal because they will not recognize the person who has been written into the crown it's not the actress's fault because at times i heard her voice and thought oh my goodness she's nailed it that is diana but the character of Diana is not in the crown. Don't believe it. Mm. Before we let you go, Paul, just as a, a, an element of contrast, if you will, a politician's fair game. Obviously, there have been plenty of TV series, uh, even one currently about Boris yes. Johnson's reign during COVID. So a, a, a politician's, that's OK to do it currently? Well, um, John Major, I think, has, has also criticised the programme because his portrayal in the crown is pretty weak and it's in his lifetime. So I think these kinds of programs, which, which actually depict people's lives and what they achieved in their lifetimes, uh, shouldn't happen until they're gone. Um, I was very happy to watch Claire Foy portray the Queen, for instance, um, in the early series of The Crown, because I have no memory of that. And I don't know that time space, but this particular time space, I was there. I saw it, I heard it, and I am not recognising it 
in The Crown. I wish I could sit with you all. I wish I could sit with everyone that watches The Crown and whisper in their ear and say, that didn't happen. And this didn't happen. Diana did not go to her, her car and find the brake pipes cut. She did not do all of those things that, that you see in The Crown. She wasn't lonely. She wasn't a wounded victim. She, she was surviving and she had a good team around her. Unfortunately, some of them told lies. And it seems to me that the Netflix series The Crown is full of lies. Paul Burrell, a former butler to Diana, thank you so much for speaking to us. You're welcome.